Melanie Beckler here with AskJoshAngels.com here with our angel card reading for July 31st through August 6th, 2017. So we're going to use the Ask Angels Oracle cards to tune in to the angels' messages of love, guidance, and healing frequency for us this week. So to begin, I would like to invite you to join me in finding a comfortable position closing your eyes and shifting your awareness inward. Direct your attention on the center of your chest, the center of your multi-dimensional being, letting light fill this area, letting light fill your heart. This is your entrance into the angelic realm. Open your heart and enter in through just focusing your attention and awareness on this area of your heart center. And now at this time, I ask that we each be surrounded with divine light, with 100,000 angels, with each of our teams of guides, angels, and ascended masters who can most serve us this week. Please come in and connect with us now as individuals and together as one. Assist me in tuning into your direct messages triggered by the cards we draw from the Ask Angels Oracle. Bring through whatever will most serve us this week according to divine will for the highest and greatest good and so it is okay now i'm just going to ask angels what do we most need to know this week what will most serve i'm now shuffling light into the cards looking for the cards that stand out there's card number one card number two and our last card card number three okay so our first card, which interestingly was in last week's reading as well, enter into the void. This is an interesting week because it's very much a space between surges of light, a space between light waves. If you've ever spent time by the ocean or tried surfing or just playing in the waves, you've likely noticed how waves come in sets. There will be a series of big waves crashing onto the shore and then there's a relatively lull period where there's a gap, a break. And that's what this week is. It's a break between these waves of light and it gives us an opportunity to rest, to relax, and to dive inward into the void before the next waves come, which will be next week when we start the August eclipse cycle. And so this week, it's very important to take some time to just be to detox from technology and from the stresses of life. As you can see, I am out here in nature, which is beautifully supportive in recharging your energy and refilling yourself up with light. In addition, meditation. I may sound like a bit of a broken record here, but it's really so important to take the time to clear your mind open your heart and just dive inward to that space of being, that space of stillness, calm and presence. It's within this space, within the void, that you can access the infinite power of the divine, the infinite possibility of the universe. So this week, make it a priority to take some time to simply be. You may be feeling a bit fatigued or tired already from the intense energies that we've been experiencing. Let this be a cue to rest, to meditate. Yesterday, I was feeling very drained, very tired in conjunction with this energy, and I didn't sleep. I went for a walk, and then I was still feeling tired, and so I meditated, and with that meditation, I had a powerful shift. So really, the message from the angels for us this week in this card is to get out of the busyness, get out of the chaos, and tune into that point of stillness, peace, calm, that zero point point where infinite potential and infinite possibility are available to you. Also, one more thing I notice about this card is this radiant light. And so when you're getting out of your mind and getting into your heart, make a conscious effort to envision your heart light expanding. Tune into the space in your heart, the light in your heart.
and let that heart light expand out around you and then tune into the energetic field around your center that surrounds your entire body and let this field, this space, your auric body, your astral body, your spiritual body, your physical body, your mental and emotional bodies, let all that you are fill up with light from the divine, radiate, shine and flow that light outward and that's going to really work wonders in preparing you for next week where the energy really ramps up. So you can look at this week as a bit of a preparation and the next bit of guidance from the angels in helping you to prepare for the eclipse cycle or headed into is self-love with Mother Mary. This brings the guidance that love is one of the most powerful ways to align yourself with light. When you are in a state of love, it's like you create openings, passageways for the light to flow. And so when you love yourself, you not only allow light to flow into your body, but that self-love multiples out, multiplies out, and allows light to flow into your being from every direction. When you love yourself, others begin to treat you in the same loving way as mirrors. So love yourself. And I'm getting the insight now that this is also talking about letting go. Again, this is a preparation week for the eclipse. So we're looking at all of these cards through that lens. How do we prepare for the next wave of light? Of course, love ourselves. A part of this is time and nature, meditation, entering into the void. And the part of this is letting go. Let go of attachments to things. For some of you, I'm getting the insight that it's going to be very important for you to not only do a spiritual cleanse of your energy and your auric body, but to actually do some cleaning of your home or office. Let go of things. And when you do, that is going to open up an incredible lightness in your life. What are you holding on to? What did other people give you that their energy is still attached to? What possessions do you have that remind you of past experience of lack, of past experiences of challenges? What possessions do you have that remind you you are limited? Let go of these. Let go of the objects that remind you of a past version of you to really create the space to step into alignment with the infinite light being that you authentically are. Another way you can really love yourself this week is to listen to your body. If you're feeling tired, rest, but also one of the best ways to overcome a feeling of fatigue is to exercise. And so there's a balance in there. If you're really feeling fatigued, go for a walk, get a little exercise, and then take the time to kick back, relax, and meditate in that combo will help you shift. Get moving, treat yourself well, also pay attention to what you're putting in your body. I, for one, have been getting the guidance this week to really eat more raw vegan foods, raw foods filled with life force to fuel the body's energy. I've already been vegan, but I eat a lot of cooked foods and the angels are telling me more raw is going to be more supportive. I'm not saying you need to go raw vegan. This is my personal guidance here, but I am getting the insight to tell you to be mindful of what you put in your body. If you're still putting things like alcohol and junk food and red meat, meat of any kind in your body, that may be having an adverse effect on your energetic level. And so make it a point this week to just try to eat a little more healthy, drink more water, cut out the alcohol, cut out the fried foods, and you're going to feel a lot better as a result. Our last card for wrapping up this week is to release fear and embrace love. The first thing my awareness goes to on this card is how the angel is holding the earth. And so this is a collective card. On a collective scale, humanity is purging fear. 
And so you might be tuning into this fear-based energy, this anxiety or negativity of the collective that's not even your own. You, of course, may have fears coming up that are your own. Whatever is the case, release that fear over to the angels and into the light. This is going to prepare you for the eclipse where you can tune into a new level of Christed consciousness, stepping into your true royal divine nature as a spiritual being in physical form. To truly step into the highest levels of your light, it's not only lifting in the light and raising your vibration, letting go of the things that are holding you back and weighing you down and fear is one of the biggest ones and so if and when fear comes up for you first of all make sure that you're in a safe space if you're in a sketchy situation take the steps that you need to do to ensure your physical safety once that's done ask the angels to surround you with light and protect you and then tune into that fear that's coming up. What is it tied to? Is it real? Is it grounded in reality? If not, release it and let it go. I've also been noticing that many people this past week have been dealing with some negative entities and attachments in this sort of thing. This is very much a last ditch attachment attempt from negative forces and entities to try to tip the scales towards the dark. This attempt is not going to work. The light is infinitely more powerful than the dark, but if you're not aware, you might get pulled in to some of that fear-based energy that negative entities feed on. And so if you're feeling fear, know that that's not your authentic state. Feel it and then release it into the light over to the angels. Ask Archangel Michael to cut any and all cords that are draining you, to cleanse and release any and all attachments or entities or cords or hooks or implants or negativity and surround yourself with a shield of golden light. This is one of my favorite methods of psychic protection. It's simply radiating with love, light, and joy. And that love and light and joy is the most powerful form of psychic protection. And so visualize a golden orb above your head and imagine it lowering down around you until your entire aura is glowing with this golden light. And inside this golden orb of light, the messages of your angels, the guidance of the ascended masters, the love of the infinite and of the universe can enter in but any and all negativity, negative entities, fear-based energies must be repelled out and released into the light. Keep this shield of light around you, release any lower vibrational energies that arise, and know that you are supported this week. It's a very creative week as well, and so express yourself. You might want to start a journal and start writing about your experiences or writing poetry or drawing mandalas or drawing flowers or dancing. Tune in to your inner creativity in a way that's authentic for you. This is an important time to stand in your authenticity and in the lens of preparing for the week, for the eclipse, for next week, the more authentic you can be now, the more primed and ready you're going to be for the eclipse energy. And so let's just recap our cards because they all fit together so well. Take the time to get out of the mind, get into your heart and tune into the vastness of the infinite. Really love yourself. Really fill your life with love by getting rid of what no longer serves like fear, possessions that are no longer serving you or that are tied to the past. Eat healthfully and release limiting beliefs, release negativity, release fear into the light to step up and step forward into your most authentic self and really shine. I feel like drawing one more card just to wrap this up, our bonus card for the week. 
your personal atmosphere with Archangel Michael. That's exactly what I was feeling, that there was something to really tie these all together. Doing these things, loving yourself, meditating, releasing fear, it's all working towards the energy you broadcast out in every moment. And when your personal atmosphere, your energy is filled with love, that's what you're sending out into the universe and that is what you're creating in your life. You create with your personal atmosphere. And so infuse yourself with love and light. Shine the authentic light that you are and know that this plays a role in you then attracting abundance, attracting opportunities and attracting blessings. On that abundance tip, yes, your action is required, but action is also a part of your personal atmosphere. Bringing your thoughts, deeds, words, actions, beliefs, all that you are into alignment with your highest intention and what you really want. And again, if you're feeling stressed, if things are feeling chaotic, enter inward. Breathe and be. Imagine a waterfall of light flowing around you cleansing away emotional density, cleansing away fear, toxins, and negativity, and allowing your inner light, your heart light, your inner radiance to shine through and expand around you. Keep shining and know that this is the most valuable thing, shining your light, standing in your authenticity, choosing love, which attracts more light to you to prepare you for the eclipse cycle which begins next week which we will talk about more in our next angel card reading for now thank you so much for watching if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up here on youtube these are again the ask angels oracle cards which you can find on amazon or on the app stores the light in me is a reflection of the light in you we are individuals but at the higher levels we're truly one Namaste. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure you do that now. Click subscribe to the Ask Angels YouTube channel so that you will be alerted when next week's reading about the eclipse cycle comes online. That's all for now. I'm going to go enjoy this beautiful nature location and then I will see you soon. Bye for now.